I'd love to know, obviously a lot of, of what you talk about is on a range of different scientific matters, but something that has been a, a love of yours and has educated a lot of people that I'd like to talk about is the importance of sunlight yeah. and especially the morning sun. And obviously you've been in Australia for a couple of weeks now and our sun is, it's got a bite to it, as I'm sure you've experienced. It does have a so, bite. Yeah. so compared to other places in the world, like you don't have to be out there for very long to be able to get burnt and this and that. But a lot of Aussies experience, like we've all had like slip, slop, slap, which is the slogan about like putting a lot of sunscreen mm -hmm. on. And, um, you know, it's been, you know, a lot about skin cancer and things like that. And there's a lot of research that talks to different things uh, to do with sunscreen, um, to do with when you should be out um, getting sun. I'd love to know your views on that, on sunscreen, especially being in Australia as well. Yeah. Um, well, first off, I do consider light and sunlight in particular to be one of the six key pillars of mental health and yes. physical health. Um, the others, just very quickly, are sleep, nutrition, exercise slash movement, relationships, including relationship to self, mm. social interactions and relationship to self are so key. Stress control, or having some means to regulate stress because stress is inevitable. And then light. You face in the direction of the sun. If you're in the shade, it's not a big deal, but if you can get some sunlight in your eyes, provided that you blink to protect your eyes, you'll know when you need to blink because it'll be, you don't want to stare at the sun. <laughs> but I have to put all these caveats. Yeah, yeah. Now, what does that do? What that does is it triggers the activation of a set of neurons in the eye called the intrinsically photosensitive melanopsin ganglion cells, which is just a bunch of science speak for the neurons that then communicate to an area of your brain called the hypothalamus, which then releases all these hormones and peptides into your system all day long and sets your melatonin rhythm for nighttime sleep. It is the most powerful stimulus for all of that stuff. No supplement, no food, no social engagement, no caffeine, no nothing can do all of that as well as morning sunlight exposure. Now, what about sunburn and what about sunscreen? I confess, I want to just highlight this because um, on some previous discussions of this topic, I've had um, elements uh, clipped out and I've been um, misunderstood as thinking that sunscreen is not good for us or maybe even bad for us. And I want to go on record. This is a wonderful <laughs> opportunity to say there is definitely a case for sunscreen. Mm -hmm. You do not want skin cancer. You do not want to burn. And the UV index is very high here in Australia. And as you pointed out, it has a bite to it. The sun has a bite. So I use sunscreen. I will repeat. I use sunscreen. <laughs> um, I do focus on using sunscreens that are basically where the only active ingredient is zinc oxide mm. because these um, the zinc oxide sunscreens, and by the way, I have no relationship to any sunscreen brand. I just happen to do that because the most of the sunscreens that do have things in addition to zinc oxide, not all of them, but many of them, I should say, not most, many of them include things that are known to go transdermally through the skin and that there are studies have shown that they may, may have some potential negative effects on other organs and systems of the body. And so given that there are excellent mineral-based sunscreens, I prefer to use those. Now, regardless of what type of sunscreen one feels safe using or not, I think it's worth mentioning that the best thing to prevent sunburn is a physical barrier a long sleeve shirt that's kind of loose. This is known all over the world, yeah. especially in desert cultures, mm. like a hat, right? A brimmed hat, if you will. It's fine to combine that with sunscreen if you need it, but um, one of the best ways to keep from burning is to not let the sun reach your, reach your skin, right? Through a physical barrier. And that and there's no debate about whether or not the physical barrier causes you know potential ill effects of, you know, there are some sunscreens with some nasty stuff in mm. them. Now, how nasty and you know whether or not it impacts things like fertility or, or whether or not they're pro-cancerous has been debated quite a bit. I'm of the mind that if one can make a better, say, one can make a clearly safe choice, why risk the potentially unsafe choice? When you look at the mechanisms of these things, you start to realize like sunlight's great for us, but not too much. Yeah. And the timing of sunlight really matters. So artificial lights, I look at as a bit of like empty calorie light. Mm. It doesn't do much for yeah. you. It's not great for you. It's not necessarily bad, but getting a lot of that without getting enough full spectrum light 
is why I believe a lot of people are experiencing malaise. I think a lot of the mental health issues that we observe nowadays in kids and adults are not just related to the content of what they're looking at. It's related to the illumination format, the, the, you know, being in a screen all day, being in under artificial lights all day, not getting outside enough. And as a final incentive for getting outside a bit, not too much each day, there's some beautiful studies looking at uh, myopia, nearsightedness, and mm. the fact that kids and adults who, who get outside, even if they're on their laptop or tablet or phone for two hours a day or more, again, you can be in the shade, don't get burned. I'm not suggesting anyone bake themselves in the sun for two hours a day or more are offsetting the development in some cases, partially reversing the effects of looking at things too close and being indoors, which is myopia, nearsightedness. So there's so many incentives for getting outside a bit, but yes, avoid getting a sunburn.